Welcome to Mournhold, capital city of the Ebonheart Pact. We track all visitors. Upon arrival, everyone must see a registrar who will record your name and business in Mournhold. Thank you for your cooperation. Deshaun has become a chaotic, dangerous place. Why shouldn't we instill a degree of order in our most prominent city? A little inconvenience is a small price to pay for your continued safety, citizen. Speak with Registrar Revel in the city center. Take the stairs up to the central building and you should find him in the courtyard there. Do not dally. It is illegal to enter Mournhold without being registered. the description of someone we were told to watch for. Yes, of course. I have orders from the Tribunal Temple to register you and grant you access to the city immediately. The Sacred Lady, Armalexia, requests that you attend her in the temple at your earliest convenience. Yes, yes, I already said that. Weren't you listening? It's a rare honor to receive an audience with the Sacred Lady. You should go now and leave this lowly clerk to his duties. We can't all have appointments with the Divine. the one that everyone's talking about. <laughs> I expected you to be bigger or something. No, I just enjoy hanging around the temple. I love all the gnashing of teeth and hypocrisy. Yes, I was waiting for you. Look, don't get too excited. There's trouble brewing and I don't have a contract, so I can't officially get involved. The mob are in the city. They saw what they did in Narcissus, and I don't want to see the same thing happen in Mournhold. I'm not supposed to care. But I guess I'm getting a little soft. You've got the clout to find someone in power and investigate. Wait, you got a date with a sacred lady? You really are something. Look, tell her about the Marlborn. Maybe she'll let you look into this. I normally wouldn't think of using her, but this is important. And I know Armalexia cares about the city. And I'll see if I can find out where the Marlborn are hiding. I'll meet you at the Flaming Nyx, the corner club southeast of here. Oh, and listen, don't breathe a word about me to Ormalexia. Promise you'll do that, and I'll help you save Mournhold. to Mournhold, my child. Your name is known to the Tribunal. You are wise to heed my sons. You have helped my people, and through your actions you have aided me. I sense that your accomplishments thus far are only the beginning. My registrars have given you access to the city, but I would like to personally thank you for your deeds. Nonsense. I take pleasure in rewarding those who serve my will. May this lantern provide you light in even the darkest situations. But I sense something troubles you. Tell me, 
Fear not to speak your mind in my divine presence. I sense that there is more to your story, but I won't pry. I trust your instincts and your judgment in these matters. Consider yourself blessed with my authority. You may investigate the Moorborn presence as you see fit. Do not be so quick to offer your thanks. After all, you are doing all the work. Should you remove this Moorborn thorn from my side, I will have yet another reason to thank you. Go speak to your secretive allies. We have similar goals, for now. Do you always question a gift from a god? The time in a generous mood. The lantern requires no fuel or flame to produce light. Simply activate the lantern, and it will summon a ball of illumination to your side for a short time. Listen to me for just a moment. It's very... Doom has come to Craglorn. The stars have vanished from the sky. Will no one listen? Will no one help? I'm an initiate in the Order of Stargazers. We study the stars and their influence on Tamriel. Not long ago, we noticed irregularities in three of the star signs. Shortly thereafter, strange armies overran Craglorn. One of our order, Hara, is leading our efforts to stop these attacks. But we are not warriors. This cart will take you to Belkarth in Craglorn, where you can speak to her personally. Please, help us. put any stock into the words of those stargazers until I saw my first sand giant. It cut a horse in half. I haven't run so fast since I was stealing meat on the streets of Riften. Now we're all listening a bit more closely. Everyone is these days. Funny how a few months ago, they were just a bunch of star-obsessed loonies. Now, they're the only folks with any idea what's going on. The observatory is up on top of that big hill there. Can't miss it. Speak quickly. 
I am very busy and our order is stretched to the breaking point. Of course, I'm sorry. You've come to help us and I'm being rude. Then I'll start from the beginning. A short while ago, the three guardian star signs, the warrior, the mage, and the thief, vanished from the night sky. I wish I knew. I've studied the stars my whole life. I've heard them speak, but now they're silent. It's eerie. All I know is when the Guardians disappeared, three powerful beings started attacking Kraglorn. They call themselves the Celestials. I don't know. It's not a name I'd ever heard before. Two of the Celestials identify themselves as the Warrior and the Mage. The third, strangely, calls himself the Serpent, after the 13th constellation. The Thief is nowhere to be found. Stargazers consists of scholars who are no match for the current threat. We need champions to face the warrior, the mage, and the serpent, and, if possible, to find the thief. Join us. Be our strong arm, our sharp sword against the Celestials. Thank you. We have a lot of work to do. But first, you must become an official member of our order. Enter the circle of stars and accept our blessing. Stars above, let this new light do your will. Accept, Accept them, them, O stars. stars. Let them always follow where you lead. Oh, oh please, please aid, aid them. them. And bless them to restore those who have fallen from glory. Our missing guardians. Oh, oh please, please bless, bless them. them. We must talk. Do not be afraid. I am a friend. Forgive me. I did not know any other way to contact you without revealing myself. Even now, the Serpent's followers, the Scaled Court, are searching for me. I am the Celestial Thief. I appeared with the other Guardians when the Serpent broke free and manifested in Tamriel. One by one, the Serpent trapped the others. First the Warrior, then the Mage. He wants to do the same to me. Yes. They attack Kraglorn against their will. Listen. The Serpent's nature is chaos. He wants to undermine the very order of reality. He will not stop with Kraglorn. My power alone is not enough. You must free the other Guardians. I will help you as much as I dare, but the Serpent is looking for me. If he ensnares me as he has the others, all is lost. Hara and the Stargazers will help you. Use their knowledge. Look for the presence of the Scaled Court. Where they are, the Serpent is surely at work. But you must not tell anyone you saw me. The Serpent's followers are everywhere. It would be surprising if I didn't. The Stargazers are only dimly aware of it. But they carry an ancient legacy as students of the star signs. Their devotion has not gone unnoticed. Of the twelve rightful star signs, it's the Guardian's duty to protect the lesser signs, our charges, against the destructive ways of the Serpent. With the warrior and mage under the serpent's control, their charges are vulnerable. So is Tamria. In a way, just as you might look at a picture of the star signs and say, that's the thief, or that's the warrior, just so, I'm the thief, or one way of seeing the thief.
You have been accepted by the stars above. You are now one of us. The stars have accepted you. I just hope it is not too late. Volumes of prophecy have been written about the stars, but not even the oracles foresaw these events. Gather allies before you leave the city. You'll need loyal friends to face the armies of the warrior, the mage, and the serpent. Return to me each time you learn something new. I will use what you learn to devise a plan to defeat the Celestials. It appears that the Serpent has gathered the bulk of his forces in the mountainous region to the north and sealed himself within. So much the better. That gives us a chance to learn what we can about this threat and plan a defense. Tradition holds that the Warrior is one of the Guardians who defends the other stars against the Serpent. But the Warrior Celestial who has recently appeared is no friend. He commands a merciless army of ancient Yokudan warriors called the Ankara. All I know is they are ancient and dangerous. I've heard intriguing rumors from the Daggerfall Covenant outpost to the west of a champion who appeared about the same time as the Ankara. That may be a good place to start looking for answers. Tradition holds that the mage, the warrior, and the thief are the guardian star signs. But the magical events in the foothills of Craglorn, including an ever-growing army of Atronox, suggest that the mage has fallen under the serpent's control. The Atronox were originally summoned by a circle of conjurers from the city of Elenhir to defend Craglorn against the Dark Anchors, but it's clear they're answering to another master now. And, if anything, their numbers are growing. I'm at a loss. The conjurers who summoned the Atronox have disappeared. But since the Atronox were summoned to defeat the Dark Anchors, perhaps the Dolmens hold a clue. Strange things. Difficult to describe. A large spell scar in the middle of the desert. And the appearance of two high elves in Belkarth, each claiming to be the mage herself. It's as if the mage tried to fight back against the serpent and lost. I wouldn't rule it out, but I haven't had time to look into their claims. You're free to investigate, but be wary of a trap. The serpent could simply be baiting us. Last I heard, the women were still at the Crossroads Tavern here in Belkarth. Tradition holds that the Warrior is one of the Guardians who defends the other stars against the Serpent. But the Warrior Celestial who has recently appeared is no friend. He commands a merciless army of ancient Yokudan warriors called the Ankara. One of our number, Erald, has been examining old Nedic writings on the subject. He hopes to find insight into the Celestial's sudden appearance. Erald is smart, but he's not exactly battle-hardened. I'd be grateful if you'd help him.